This is uh, Riley. He's working in his uh, squat suit. And um, trying to have him work with the straps up. But as you can see, you have your straps up. You go to do a box squat. You can't do a traditional box squat. You got to kind of more touch and go on the box if you're going to have your straps up. This is Juan John. And he's, um, we're working, working his suit in a little bit too, trying to get him more comfortable with regular squats. On this day, we kept him uh, mainly on the box just to get him comfortable, keep the box height a little high, and just get him used to stuff. He's not going to compete in a full power meet until about November. A lot of this stuff is new to him though, so. We're working on all different kinds of stuff, working on his foot positioning, working on his feet pointed in, pointed out, you know, stance wide, stance close, messing around with all different kinds of stuff, see what's going to work best for him. It doesn't help that his face is so fat. Juan's got that forward position right there and he's going to kind of scoot his hips back. <laughs> Everyone's having a lot of fun watching our bench only guy makes this, make this transaction. But I, I think it's awesome. I think it's great that he's doing it. Fuck bench only, right? That's what I'm saying. Okay, here we go. Takes some wad on racket, turns purple. Struggling a little bit. I think he had trouble breathing, um, you know, with the straps up and stuff like that. It's gonna be a totally different experience for you if you haven't done it or you haven't done it in a while. Actually, now I'm watching this video. It actually looks like his suit is is sitting pretty low. Normally, suits come up at least a little bit higher than that. But, you know, you can view a lot of these days and the way that I view them, it's just as practice, you know. If your goal is to squat um, 600 pounds, you can get a lot out of uh, getting in your suit and working with 400 pounds. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to try to squat 600 pounds in the gym. You save it for the meat. But in the meantime, you work on your technique, work on your form, work on your assistant stuff, work on things to get yourself stronger. But you don't have to blow it all out in the gym. We really were struggling with uh, having Riley um, set up um, and push his hips through on the on rack. You see, Juan did the same thing. Um, didn't have his legs uh, locked and his hips locked in. To me, that's just uh, all in your butt. You got to flex your butt hard along with your quads. And a lot of times, the way that you start is going to be the way that you finish. It may not matter with some of these lighter weights. Once they get in a heavier weight, it's going to really matter. This is Jim McDonald hitting some uh, deadlifts off the blocks. Uh, Jim uh, worked with Tresson on that day. And he pulled off the blocks with some chains. But Riley's getting a little more comfortable. But uh, it's something we're just going to have to keep working on. There's Tresson, good form as always. Knees are way, way out. See how far out his knees are compared to where his arms are. Tristan's trying to tell me to not lift me. I'm trying to tell him he sucks. He's trying to tell me I'm fat. Juan's moving the weights up pretty quick and uh. We just got to work on getting him down in there a little better. Keep it as positioning throughout. A good strong lift by Jim. 80 pounds of chains on there. T-Bear. Oh, is there six chains on there? There we go. We got six chains on there now, and that's 120 pounds of chains. Good strong pull from Jim. Jim doesn't um, do a ton of heavy pulls in in uh, in the gym, but uh, 
He has deadlifted 600 pounds before in a contest. Good strong double for Tristan. Been working with Tristan on trying to keep him to keep his weights a little bit more moderate on his deadlifts and his squats. He uh, he likes to go pretty heavy on stuff. Another easy, good, strong pull. There's a little bit of slack in his arms on that first one, and that's why he had trouble locking it out. He fixed it on the second one. He corrected it. And that's it from supertraining.tv.